Hi, Victoria, you're up. So the, you guys know the brain is made up of 70% water. Today I'm going to talk to you about the brain and how it's important. Everyone in this room has a brain, or at least I hope so, you guys do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, I did some research on the brain about important information about the functions of the brain and I'm going to talk to you about why the brain is important and the uh, biggest part of the brain, the cerebrum and the cerebellum. The brain is important to move, talk, feel, anything. According to Helen Phillips, an article she wrote, the human brain, the brain is the most complex organ in the human body. It produces our every thought, action, memory, feeling, and experience of the world. This jelly-like mass of tissue weighs in about three pounds. So every time you, have a, you create a memory that you feel is important to you, you're creating new connections to your brain every single time. Um, they say in our car read the, every time a memory created, you create and create more, and then you can create up to a minute, five new, new memories. The second main point that I'm going to talk to you is about the serum. The serum is the biggest main part of the brain, which starts from the top to the bottom, which is from here to up here. It's divided into four main parts, the frontal, the parietal, the temporal, and the occipital. Um, each one of them plays a different role in the brain. Um, the frontal, which is this part right here, um, that helps you make decisions making, planning, organizing yourself. The parental, which is this part right here, um, is the part that makes you move, um, process information that you're being taught. Um, the occipital, this little part right here, is the one that you see colors and visuals. And the temporal, this right here is the memory, um, perceptions, and everything. Um, this part right here, all this, it's 85% of the whole brain's weight. Now that I talked to you about the serum, we're going to move on to this part right here. The, and this part right here is the movement and it comes from ears, eyes, and other organs. Uh, your brain transmits information to see what you're gonna do. And it's only 10% of the weight of the whole brain. And, and if this part, the cerebellum, is bad, your whole balance is off, you're slow moving, talking, or gain information through to you because it's not working good. Um, the third main point I'm going to talk to you about is about the connect to the other points. <coughs> this, is, this is the brain and this is the inside of it and all this right here too, so you can see all the parts right here of the, how it's divided into the parts of the four parts that we talked about. Um, today I talked to you about the important parts of the brain, the biggest part, the cerebrum, and the, about moving and everything. And in conclusion, um, my, my speech was about Our brain gives us awareness of ourselves and our environment, processing a constant stream of sensory data. It controls our muscle movement and every our breathing and internal temperatures. That's why the brain is important. Thank you. Any questions? What made you interested in this topic? I don't know, you saw something different. Something I never heard about. Yeah.
What were some topics that you considered besides the brain to talk about? The, the origin of the cookie fortune and what was that? The cookie origin fortune and pitfalls. Mm -hmm. Three good topics, I think. You had three good topics picked there. Um, so throughout your research on the brain, is there a specific side of the brain? Like how, you know, how, I don't know, like different teachers or whatever have said, like, you only use, you know, the one side of your brain. Did you find anything about that? It does talk a lot like that a lot, but it, is, it always comes up to you mostly using your whole brain. So that's, each little part contains one of them. That you do. Um, I think you said it was a temporal part um, mm -hmm. to where you see colors. Do you think people that are colorblind have that um, it's not developed properly? Yeah, it was, it was talking about like people who have bad um, tissues or neurons or in their brain is because of mouse function, the brain and everything. Thank you. The real question is, I can't match clothes very good. Is there something wrong with my temporal part of my brain? Or do I have bad taste? That's the real question. So these two, those two uh, visual aids, the second one was like a real brain, right? Yeah. Was the first brain sort of like an artistic version of the brain, or was that the real brain too? No, it was just like an artistic. Yeah, okay. I kind of like that, that idea. Uh, and I've seen other people do it where the first, the first image that they show us, let's say a, a soften of a body part, will be more of uh, artistic rendition, right? It's a, it's a drawing of it, the thing. Nice and clean, you can clearly see things. And then you follow that up with, what does it really look like? And if you can do that, that's really a nice thing for um, the audience. So I thought looking at the actual brain the second time around, I mean, it's not quite as neat and clean as you might expect. It reminds me that I went up to the uh, Science Museum recently and they had a mini exhibit from a larger exhibit that they once had there, which was the, the human body. And they had real human body parts up there and slices of the human body and stuff. And I'm not really a, the type of person that does well looking at that stuff. And I didn't know that was there, so I just kind of walked in the room and I was like, whoa. So I had to get out of there, but uh, fascinating. All right, nice job.